you guys remember when we had live streaming from our drone flights with the old DJI Go 4 uh, application? Well, we don't have the full capabilities of it yet, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can start live streaming again with the new DJI Fly 1.4.12 update. Stick around. Now this isn't nearly as easy as it was with the old Go4 app where we could just choose an application, uh, it would do all of the authentication process itself and we'd be on our merry way to live streaming our flights. No, DJI had to change things and make it a little bit more complicated. I don't know the background stuff to why they did it this way, but we had the technology then, we can do it now, but it just requires something new called an RTMP server address and this can change depending on whatever platform it is that you're trying to stream to. So if you're trying to stream to Facebook, it's a different URL. Uh, YouTube's a different URL, Instagram's a different URL, and it becomes very tedious, but at least we have some type of live streaming capabilities back. Now, from my experience, I have not been able to stream to Facebook, so I'm just gonna be demonstrating YouTube today. Others have had better luck streaming to Facebook, but as far as I'm aware, the DJI Fly app does not support the RTMPS, which is over a, an encrypted server. So if you guys have better luck, good on you. If not, well, just stream to YouTube and go from there. So today's video, again, to refocus, I'm gonna be showing you how to find your RTMP server address on a desktop, but if you don't have a desktop, I'm also gonna be showing you how to find it on a mobile device, which is a little bit more tedious as well. But if you're just streaming to YouTube, this will make sense here in just a moment. And then of course, with that, we're just gonna kind of do a live stream, see how well it works, go through all the different types of settings, and then close it out with some final thoughts. So with that being said, let's head on over to the computer and show you how to get your RTMP URL. So the easiest way to do this is on a desktop just because you have a full browser. But if you don't have one available to you, you can do it on a mobile device. I'm gonna show you how to do both of those. So. Starting off with the desktop, you're gonna to want to sign in to your YouTube studio. So go over to studio.youtube.com. Again, that link will be down in the description. And then what you're gonna do once you're signed in here is you're either gonna go up to the top where it says create, or you can click on the little go live button right here. And this is gonna take you into the go live settings. If you get this pop up, just uh, click on start right now and do streaming software because we're gonna be using the software from the Fly app to do this. So. Once you've done that, it's going to load your kind of like your, your live streaming studio settings. Now you can go in and you can edit the settings directly from here. So maybe you wanted to say drone test. Uh, we'll click on save on that and just leave everything else the way it is. Uh, privacy, you're gonna, you can set that to public or private depending on um, if you're just doing some testing or whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and set ours to public. So once it's finished, it'll send it on over to the channel. Now what we're really paying attention to in this is going to be right in this area here, right underneath your box, right underneath stream settings, you're going to want to look for your stream URL. This is the RTMP server that we're going to need. Not only that, but you're also going to need the stream key right in here. I'm going to go ahead and show you mine because I'm going to reset it. I'm not going to be using that stream key long uh, term, but you don't want to share your stream key because if somebody has both of this information, they can stream to your channel unless you hit the reset and get a new stream key. So what we're gonna do is we're going to copy the RTMP server first, okay? And I'm actually just gonna open up a notepad real quick just to kind of show you guys. We are gonna to wanna to put it in this type of format because we're gonna to need to send this to our mobile device. So we've got the, RTPM, uh, the RTMP in there. We're gonna go ahead and put a slash at the end of that. And then we're gonna grab the stream key. You don't have to hit the I to grab it. You can immediately hit copy. Even if the, uh, the stream key is hidden, you can hit copy. That's gonna copy your stream key. And we're gonna paste that at the end of our RTMP. So you need to have RTMP, the following slash your stream key. And that's the format we're gonna need to input into the DJI Fly app. So. Once you have that, you can send it to yourself in any fashion that you like, whether it's an email, a text message to yourself, a Facebook message to yourself, whatever. Just again, make sure that it's secured because if somebody has that key and you forget to reset it, they can stream to your channel. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm going to actually just send this to myself via a text message and then we'll go over to the DJI Fly app and add it in there. First off, I apologize about the microphone audio. I'm just using the onboard uh, mic on the actual phone itself. So if you don't have a browser, 
the one thing that you can do is you can do this on a mobile device too. It's a little bit more tedious, but essentially what you're going to do is open up your browser on your mobile phone. You're going to go to studio.youtube.com, just like we did on the desktop, and you're going to let that load and you're going to sign into whatever account that is that you're wanting to stream from. Once you've done that, you can tap on the little go live button over there on the right hand side, or you can tap on the create button just like we did on desktop. So if we tap on go live, uh, you're going to see something probably like this it says your current browser doesn't support streaming download Chrome. Uh, I'm actually using Chrome on my phone, so I'm not sure why I'm getting that message. But what we're essentially going to do is we're going to tap the three little dots right here at the top, top right hand corner. And we're going to scroll all the way down until you have an option that says desktop site. Yours might be slightly different. It might say request desktop site or request desktop, something along those lines. Your menu might be in a different location but essentially you're going to need to find the option that says desktop site. Once you have found it, check the box. The page is then going to reload and you're gonna see what we just did on the desktop itself. Right underneath the stream settings, you're gonna have your stream key as well as your stream URL or your RTMP. You can copy that and then paste it wherever you need to. And then of course, copy that stream key as well. Paste that in the format that I showed you and here it is just one more time. Uh, down at the bottom of the screen just in case you guys need to remember that uh, paste it right there and then you're going to copy all of that and we're going to paste that into the dji fly app boot up your dji fly app here and then of course uh well i guess to be fair you're going to want to copy that url or that rtmp address first with your stream code and then come into the dji fly app so we're in here we're going to tap on the three little dots up in the top right hand corner and you're gonna to go to your transmission tab. It's the second one from the right. Tap on that, and right at the very top, you've got live streaming platforms. Tap on that, and then you have something that says RTMP. So you're gonna tap on that once, and it's gonna say RTMP address. You might have like RTMP uh, colon forward slash or backslash backslash forward slash, whatever they are. You're gonna to want to clear that out, and you're gonna to want to paste in your own code. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in now. Once you've got that, you're gonna hit done. And then we've got a few different options that we can choose from here. Now I know these slightly uh, differ between iOS and Android. Um, the live stream resolution, you have the option to choose 1080p or 720p. We're gonna choose 1080p for today's demonstration. And then the live stream bitrate is basically the depth of, 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 of the actual stream itself. So it's gonna affect the quality of the actual stream. On iOS, I don't know if it's like one or two megabits per second, but on Android, we have three and five. You're gonna to want to choose uh, whatever one you think is good. We've got some pretty good cell service up here. We'll see how that goes. So I'm just gonna roll with 1080p and five megabits per second as far as the bit rate goes. Um, if you do end up getting choppy video after you review that and it's and you're getting bad signal or you <clears throat> maybe you don't have the best cells coverage, you may wanna drop your bit rate down, maybe even your resolution down to get a nice smooth uh, broadcast. Uh, so once we're done with that, like I said, we're gonna tap okay, you're gonna get a countdown and it's gonna go live. Um, I've got the drone just on the back of the bed back there and we're just gonna fly around and we've got some really pretty like moody mountains here. We've got a waterfall back behind us and just some overall cool stuff that I think will be a great demonstration for the live streaming. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. You can see we've got our countdown. Um, it's a little shaky out here. It is a little bit windy, but before we take off, I wanna make uh, note of some things here. Up in the top right-hand corner area, next to your battery life, you've got a new icon. That shows you that you are live, that you're broadcasting. So if they can hear me, which they can, because you can kind of see the uh, microphone bouncing up and down, um, that allows you to control the microphone. So if you wanna do some commentary on the video or whatever, so like today, just real quick, this is gonna be a live stream. We're doing a demo test of the new live streaming feature and the DJI Fly software. If we actually tap on that icon, you have the ability to mute the microphone. There's no uh, feed because it doesn't pick up any wind noise from the drone. It's just the microphone built onto the whatever device you're using. So we're gonna turn that back on. Uh, you've got your streaming time frame, how long you've been streaming, and then of course you have your exit, which is where you're gonna go to uh, end your live stream. Right next to the microphone, uh, you've got your signal strength for your data connection. So you can see that we've got so we've got four, three out of four bars. Yeah, we've got about three out of four bars, which is pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and close that, and we're gonna go ahead and take off and just do some flying around. Um, I'm gonna fly around for a little bit, and then we'll come back and, and uh, kind of review it and go from there.
So, what are my final thoughts? I've done a couple of different streams and kind of played around with it a little bit more, and it's nice to have this feature. I wish DJI would make it a little bit easier to use because it's not user-friendly, at least not how it was with the Go4 app. So hopefully they've got some changes in the pipeworks uh, to make this app uh, better, this feature better, because right now it kind of sucks and it's really tedious to do. A few things that I've noticed while doing these flights is, of course, you will not be able to engage with any comments or any audience unless you have like a computer or a secondary device watching the stream where you can see those comments come through. Now, I understand some of this might be because you don't want all of that distraction while you're trying to fly. It's always good to have a spotter, especially if you're doing a live stream. So that makes sense, but just keep in mind, you will need to have a secondary device in order to engage with the audience that you're streaming to. Second thing is, uh, again, going through the forums, I've seen people not being able to stream to their channel at all because they haven't hit a, an X number of subscribers. I don't know if this is a regional lockout or something along those lines. I was able to stream even with zero subscribers. Um, so that might be something that you may want to uh, test out and check before you, um, I don't know, do what you're going to do with your channel. But just know that there might be some times or there might be, just know that there might not be just know that you may not be able to stream to your channel depending on your region if you don't have the required subscriber count. Uh, the next thing that I noticed is kind of, we touched on this a little bit earlier in the video, is Facebook, I was having issues streaming to Facebook because they use that secure, that RTMPS uh, secured server. My app was not allowing me every time I would try to input the URL with the stream code in the exact same format, I would always get a stream fail. If I reverted back to the YouTube URL, everything went fine. So hopefully you guys have better luck than I did with Facebook, but as of right now, Facebook doesn't work very well. The last thing that I want to say with streaming is uh, it, always make sure that you're connected to your drone first. So the controller's on, phone's powered up, it's connected, and you actually have a, a, a solid connection to the drone before going live. Otherwise, uh, sir, during some of the testing, I wasn't, like if I were to start the stream before the drone actually connected, it actually wouldn't make the stream go live. So make sure everything's connected, you have a, a, a solid connection to the drone, it's a live view, and then go live, because then it actually kicks off the live stream and makes it public, or whatever your settings were uh, when you adjusted those in the YouTube studio. So that being said, it's nice to have the feature. DJ, if you guys are watching, update the app, because the way that we have it right now is really shitty, and we have the tech before to do this, we can have the tech to do this now, uh, and it would be nice to be able to uh, make it really easy to live stream our drone flights again. So it would be really nice to have. That is going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it, got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Help us grow our channel. Uh, and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Happy flying.